So hello students, for today's video, we will have more examples on the truth values of a propositions. But before that, let's have a review first on the truth table per logical operator. So if we have here two propositions P and Q, we have all the possible combination of truth values of our P and Q. So it can be P, 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 F, F, P, and F, F. So in negation, that denies the truth of the given proposition. That is, when a proposition is true, its negation is false. And if it if the proposition is false, its negation is true. Okay? And then for conjunction, um, P and Q is only true if both propositions P and Q are true. Otherwise, it is false. Okay? And it is denoted by this symbol. So, in this junction, that is, we use the word OR and it is denoted by this symbol. So, it can only be false if both of the disjuncts or both of the propositions is false or are false. Otherwise, it is true. For conditional, that is if then and it is denoted by this arrow. So, it can only be false if your hypothesis is true and your conclusion is false. Otherwise, it is true. And lastly, for biconditional, that is, we are using if and only if, we have here a double-headed arrow. So if, so, if both of the propositions have the same truth value, then the biconditional statement is true. So just like here, we have true, true, so this is true, and then false, false, then it, that is still true. Otherwise, it is false. So don't forget all of this because we will be using this concept in determining the truth values of a given proposition. So let's find the truth value of the given proposition below considering this scenario. Jen asked Anna for a date. However, Anna declines since she and Elmer are busy studying. Jose is supposed to be joining them. However, he is sleeping. Considering the scenario and if we have this proposition speak you are. Let's identify the truth value of each proposition. So for P, Anna has a date with John. So that is a false proposition because Anna declined John's offer for a date. So next, proposition Q, Jose is sleeping. So according to the scenario, he is really sleeping. So that is a true proposition. For proposition R, Elmer is eating. So in the scenario, Anna declines John's offer for a date since she and Elmer are busy studying. So, meaning that is a false proposition. So, using these truth values, we can find the truth value of the proposition. So, let's substitute the truth value per proposition. So, for proposition Q, that is a true proposition. But since we negate a true proposition, it becomes false, right? And then we have this symbol for conjunction. Then we have proposition P that is a false proposition. Next is we have this pri primary connector for this junction. Then R is a false proposition. And then for Q that is a true proposition. So let's use the truth table for conjunction and disjunction to perform this one. So again class, if both of the conjuncts are false, then the conjunction is false. Okay? And then, then if one of the disjuncts is false and the other is true, then the disjunction is true. Now, if one of our disjunct is false and another disjunct is true, then the disjunction is true. Therefore, the truth value of the proposition is true let's try number two so let's identify first the truth values per given variables so we have here for r that is a false proposition and then this symbol is for the biconditional that is a double-headed arrow for proposition p that is a false proposition but since we negate that one it becomes true Next is we have this symbol, just copy the symbol for this junction. And then for Q, that is uh, for Q, that is a true proposition. And then this is for conditional. For P, that is false, right? 
And then, we have here another symbol for disjunction. For negation of P, since P is a false proposition, so when we, when we negate that one, it becomes true proposition. Then, we have proposition R that is a false proposition. Okay? So, um, let's use our truth table to identify the tr uh, truth values per, uh, per operation. So, we have here, for biconditional, if your components is false and then the other component is true, so meaning it lies here. False, true, so since it is under biconditional, then that is a false statement. Okay, so that is only in this case. Another is copy this connector for disjunction. And then this parenthesis here, this is a conditional um, statement. So that is true implies false. So TF, diba TF, it becomes F, diba TFF, if you could still remember that. So this is false. Okay, and then copy this connector for disjunction. And then another is TF. So that is false. Okay. Next is copy this one, false. And since we are not yet done here, so that is we are using disjunction. So if both of the disjuncts is false, so false, false, tapos disjunction, then that is false. Right? So now, value of the given proposition here is false. So, for number three, we have negation of the quantity P implies Q. So, the truth value for the proposition P is F. And then for Q, that is P. So, we have here conjuncts. Negation of R is T since R is false. So, its negation is true. So, we have here our primary connector which is conjunction for p the truth value is f this junks this quantity q is t and then r is f okay so let's use our truth table to perform this operation so we have here so this is for conditional if you have a false hypothesis and a true conclusion then the conditional is true. And conjunct T. And then we have to perform first what's inside the parenthesis. So if one of the disjuncts is true, then the disjunction is true, right? So here, class, this is negation of T that is F, right? And then we have conjuncts T. Then the other is we have F disjunct T. So for conjunction, if one of the conjuncts is false, then the conjunction is false. And for con so we have here F disjunct T. So that is T. Okay. So here, class, F conjunct T will give us an answer of F. Thus, the truth value of the proposition is false. So that's it for today. I hope you've learned something on the videos I've presented. Thank you for watching.